hello everybody to a new video and today we are going to be doing about different input types and displaying it as a GUI. So the first thing you want to do is insert a part. Make it one by one and then insert a billboard GUI. Inside, inside that billboard GUI create a image label. and set this to Xbox, uh, mobile player or keyboard player. So I'm going to quickly create a image for this mobile player and then we can start scripting. Okay, now I've created the image for the mobile player let's start scripting. So firstly go to server script service and insert a script. What, what you want to do is get the service of user input service. Game get service user input service. Then what you want to do is, is create a function for when the player joins. And then inside of that create an embedded function for when the characters the character loads. Then what you want to do is get user input service dot touch enabled which basically means mobile player and then create an if statement if touch enabled equals true then drag your mobile player into the replicated storage first of all and then do you want to get the uh, replicated storage service so rep equals game get service replicated storage and then do rep wait for child whatever your uh, mobile player's name is and put it in speech marks and then do clone and uh, create that as a variable so I'll put mobile calls that and I'll make it local and these okay, now you have done that what you want to do is say mobile dot parent equals player dot head. Right, let me just fix that. Actually also what you want to do is before that you want to say head equals player dot dot character dot head because that is wrong and head local. So now that we've done that if I go into home and click test you can uh, see this emulation where you can click device and you can uh, pick between different devices to emulate. So either phone or tablet is a touch enabled device but at the moment I'm going to uh, change the GUI at the moment. So I'm going to change the world offset value to 2.5 so it's actually above the player's head instead of in it. So if I click run, it should be above my player's head. And there you go. It might not fit the GUI very well, but you can see it's there. So now I'm going to teach you how to do keyboard enabled and Xbox enabled, so uh, gamepad enabled. 
Okay, now that we have done this, we are going to do keyboard enabled and gamepad enabled. So, instead of doing if user input service dot dot touch enabled, we are going to do if gamepad enabled and we are going to go to our replicate storage and duplicate the mobile player I'm going to call it gamepad enabled or gamepad player and I'm going to create an image for those types of players ok I created the image for it and now we're going to script this bit so we're going to do if e equals true then we're going to do the same sort of line of script except we're going to say gamepad and don't put a uh, lowercase game and we're gonna put gamepad player And then we're going to say gamepad dot parent equals head. And then we're going to do another if statement for keyboard enabled. So generally the most most amount of players. So then we're going to say keyboard enabled. And we're going to say keyboard. wait for child keyboard player and then we're going to duplicate it yet again call it keyboard player and I'm going to create another image for keyboard player Okay, I created the image for the keyboard player, so now we can test the script. So I'm not going to emulate it at all, and I'm going just going to play as a keyboard player. And it shows up as a keyboard player. Now I'm going to emulate it as a Xbox player. And it also will show as an Xbox player. And that is my concluded tutorial of in user input service and how to show which type of input a player is on. Okay, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really enjoy uh, doing these tutorial videos. So if you want to learn anything, uh, just comment down below. And once again, thanks for watching.